<laughs> so, uh, now this part is the, uh, is the ileum, and, uh, this is the, uh, colon, and, uh, this is the cecum. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, this is the uh, cecum, and uh, <laughs> this is the uh, uh, colon. Sorry, yes. And uh, this is the appendix, the uh, vermiform appendix. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yes. Well, now, um, oh. yes. now um, the important part about the appendix is that uh, when it becomes inflamed... Uh, oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> it's... Uh, it's called uh, uh, appendicitis, and you, uh, you uh, cut it up. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, uh, well, what is the, uh, the blood supply of the appendix, sir? Uh, Upton? <laughs> Pardon? Uh, what is the blood supply of the appendix? The appendicular artery, Dr. Crowfoot. Yes, 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 the, the appendicular artery, which comes from the inferior branch of the right mesenteric artery. Uh, uh, isn't it the iliocolic artery? Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes, the, the, the inferior branch, the, is it? Yes, 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 of course it is, yes, the, the, <laughs> the inferior branch, yes, right, good, well, uh, any questions, sir? No? Uh, Dr. Crowfoot? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Stuart Clark? Dr. Crowsfeet, I am, I'm not quite sure about the course of the appendicular heart, artery. Oh, the course of the appendicular artery, well, now, let's see, now, it, uh, it comes from the, uh, the right uh, mesenteric artery. The uh, iliocolic. Oh, yes, sorry, sorry, the ili iliocolic artery, which uh, runs through the uh, mesentery of the appendix, which is, uh, which is about, uh, about here. Yeah, you know, about uh, here. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <coughs> yes, well, um, let's see what, uh, what old Grey has got to say about it, shall we? Oh, 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 oh dear. Your page is all over there. Oh, thank you very much, boys. It's all right. Well, I can easily do it. Uh, thank you, dear. With these, uh, these new contact lenses of mine, I'm blind as a bat without them, but they do take some getting used to. Dr. Crosby, mm? uh, Excuse me, it's almost five o'clock. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes, well, uh, yes, well, you run after you chaps and look it all up in the books. It's all there. Very Christian. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. What are we going to do? Let's go for a jar. Uh, no, we can't. It's only half past three. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh so sorry, sir. So after you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll have a coffee at that place. That's a good idea. Yes? No, I've got this. Sorry. Oh, great. This place has been teaching us. Sorry, I can't see anything with you. Did you contact him? Well, don't worry. That's the last tutorial we'll have with him for a while. Oh, really? Why? He's got a locum registrar's job on McGregor's surgical firm. Come again? He's spending the next month as a surgeon. You're joking. Why not? He's perfectly qualified and he has done it before. Why don't carve up crow's feet? Is there anything somebody ought to warn the patients about him? What do you suggest? Tie L plates on his back? <laughs> well, he's, he's going to be cutting people open. He can't find his way around Grey's anatomy, let alone the human body. So what? Abdominal surgery is just a matter of simple plumbing and a little bit of needlework, that's all. Apart from that, remember the surgeon's motto. If, if in doubt, doubt, cut it out. <laughs> Let's go home. Now, yeah, see you tomorrow, then. Eh? Oh, Paul, what about coming back to oh, me? You're home cooking, no fear. Um, Hugh Evans is taking me out for a meal. Oh! Whose turn is it to cook supper? Uh, mine. Oh. <laughs> hey, where's Mike? Mike! He was reading one of my... One of my surgery books last time I saw him. Oh, surgery? Yeah, said he wanted to look up appendicitis. That's a bit keen, isn't it? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, Duncan, that's Thank hot! Thank you. Come and get it, fellas. Supper's ready. One for me, thanks. Mm. But it's his favourite. Beans. No, I'm not hungry, thank not you. Not hungry? Ah, yes, just as well we've got another gaping mouth to feed. Oh. Open up his. We're not eating here, are we? Oh, yes, we are. You mean leap. <laughs> You said you were taking me out. Oh, he always takes his dates to the best places, don't you, Hugh? Right, now where's mine? I don't want this, do they? Hey, get off. Hey, Dave's got a nice big plate full. Go away, Collier. Come in, Collier. <laughs> oh, I can eat a horse. Uh, sorry, dear, horse is off. Uh, shall I say grace? No! no. Shh, shh, shh. We thank thee for these beans on toast. Because beans are what we love the most, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, Eyes down for a full Beckley. <laughs> My goodness, this looks oh, uh, exotic. Uh, do you want to try some, Mike? No, no. Oh, it has gone off my cooking. That is what it is. <laughs> oh, your cooking? This is real cordon bleu stuff, this. Bloody. Uh, what have you put in here? <laughs> A few little odds and ends to make it more interesting. Hey, Duncan. I, I... <laughs> what the hell's that? 
A shrimp. Baked beans and shrimps. Yeah, and the black things are pickled walnuts. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I don't feel very well, and I think... Oh, oh dear oh, hell, what's that? <laughs> I found it in the... No, don't tell me. But I, I don't want to know. I think I've got appendicitis. I think I've got a tonsil. <laughs> got what? I've got appendicitis. More like medical students' hysteria. Beg your pardon? Occupational disease of medical students. They suffer the symptoms of whatever they're reading about. I thought I'd lost a leg last year. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm serious. I I've had this pain in the umbilical region, and now it's shifted right across to the iliac fossa, just by McBurney's point. And I've been sick. Oh, you're probably just pregnant. <laughs> I'm silly. I couldn't be pregnant. Are you sure? What? Yes. And I've also got a slight temperature, although they do say it doesn't rise and fall an awful lot in appendicitis. Right. This calls for action. Ta-da! 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 Rebound tenderness. What's that? Well, if I press in here, I get a terrific pain if I suddenly release it like this. Oh! oh. He's not joking, is he? No, I think we'd better take a look at him. Don't bring him through here, Duncan. Mm. Look, uh, we'd better get him along to casually. Tom Edwards is a cas officer. Right. Oh, no, not that. He's too young. Oh, hey. <laughs> give him a ring. No, not St. Swithins. They might decide to operate. <laughs> I thought St. Swithins were well known for their surgeons. Well known. They're bloody notorious. Yeah, she'll find a better standard of butcher <laughs> at the co op. Oh. Hey, look, Mike, you okay? I feel so sick. Well, now, who's for a nice wee bit of my lovely plan? Oh! <laughs> oh, my, did you see that? And I've spent the whole afternoon baking it. He's not well, Mrs Muir. He's we're, what? We're taking him to hospital. The Lord preserve us. Have you got clean pyjamas? Now, don't fuss, <laughs> Mrs Muir. I will see that they're well aired. I don't want you catching a chill in the kidneys. Yes, all right. Come on, let's wheel you along to casual day. Well, you meet a nice class of patient there. <laughs> Come along, my. Oh, mind my plan. Come on, I take care of your plan, darling. <laughs> Yeah, let's go for a jar to calm him. Uh, don't you think I'd better stay with him? Oh, thanks. Ah, I know he doesn't you fussing around him, do you? Big boy now, aren't you? Yes, come on. They'll be close. Yes, good luck. Uh, good good luck, night, Mike. I'll see you later, mate. It's my appendix. Would you come in here and take off your clothes, please? There you go, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Mr. Upton, the surgeon's here to see you. I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, um, oh no, no, that's quite a one.
He said it was nice of us to stay with him. Yeah, well, tell him we only came for the nurses. We only came for the nurses. Out! <laughs> Not you. Come on, out you go. I uh, didn't recognise you without your uniform, sister. <laughs> And don't excite Mr. Wimberley. He can't stand it. If you wake him with that, it might prove too much for him. Oh, what a beautiful way to go, though. <laughs> well, we're with him and we are medical students. That is obvious. Out! Lie still. Well, Mr. Crawford, what's the verdict? Well, he's certainly such a... Uh, uh, oh. Well, um, he seems to have... Oh, yes. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Oh, good Lord. Oh, dear, dear. Um... Adam, what do you think the trouble is? Well, I don't really know. What? What? Oh, I see. It's fine. I think it's the appendix, almost certainly. Anyway, I, I think I'll open him up. So I'm getting a bit rusty. I'd like to lay my hands on a nice appendix. When in doubt, cut it out, eh? Yes. Well, you know best. Well, not really. <laughs> it won't do him any harm. Well, Mr. Upton, I'm afraid it's definitely acute appendicitis. So, of course, I'll have to operate pretty soon. This week? Mm -hmm. About midnight. Well, that's only an hour. An hour and a half. I've been on the phone to your parents and they've given their consent. Well, they can't do that. They wouldn't have. They, they have. Well, well they, they, they don't, don't know what's involved. Oh, now, come along. I believe your father is a doctor, isn't he? Well, actually, I didn't speak to Mr. Upton's father. Oh, there you are. No, he was watching television and your mother didn't like to wake him. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was sure he'd give us the go-ahead. Well, she doesn't know. You'll have to wake him up. No, 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 no. She said she'd tell him in the morning when it's all over. And what's all over? When what's all over? Now, 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 there's nothing to worry about. Sister will give you your pre med. Thank you, sister. See you later. Hmm? Come along. Uh, take these. They'll make you feel a bit drowsy. But don't worry about that. After all, you don't want to be awake when he does it, do you? <laughs> now, Harry will be along to shave you in a minute. Shave? Yes, so be ready for him, won't you? supposed to be here. Poor wee manny. I heard your mammy couldn't come and I know at a time like this the one thing a laddie needs is his mammy. Am I right or am I wrong? Yes, right. Ah, right. Well, I'm no your mammy, but I'll do my best. I've had sons of my own. Oh my, you're awful hot. I'm very hot. Well, I've got something here to cool you down. Look. Dandelion butter. No, no, no thanks. No, no. Well, maybe you'll fancy a wee drop of that later. I brought you one or two wee things because you might be in here for some time. I'm not here. Look, for... here's your favourite. Beans. <laughs> now, look. And some nice clean pyjamas. See? Oh, I think I'll put them in this wee cupboard here, shall I? Mm. Mm. Oh, my, a funny wee bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you can guess what this is, can't you? It's your share of the plan. No, no, no. Well, maybe you'll fancy it with your coffee in the morning. 
poor wee boy. Oh, what was that? Oh, look at that. Oh, what was that? What happened? Oh, what is it? 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 Who was that? Oh. Let me have a look. <laughs> Save me a cheese and tomato, will you? Thanks. Oh. You're not frightened, are you? Yes. Oh, well, never mind. You're in safe hands now. <laughs> That's my full house. Oh, please, me. Please, me out. Hey, oh, don't worry about Mike. He's going to be all right. But, uh, well, if he's not, uh, I'm going to have his rugger boots. Hey, I'll have his running cups. Should get a few bob for these. Yes, and I'll have his watch. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's all right. We're not leaving you out. You can have his beams. Let me rub them. <laughs> Worry what Crowfoot's doing to him. Oh, Duncan, come on. It's only an appendectomy. He can't do much damage. I don't know. Remember that chap who came in to have his tonsils out? They took his leg off. Took his leg off? What did he do? <laughs> Hopped. Ta da! Look at the things they leave inside people swabs, needles, rubber gloves, nurses. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just worried about Mike. Don't worry, Dugs. He'll pull through. He's a game, little chap. <laughs> and if he doesn't come back, <laughs> we'll lay his place at the table just the way we always do. Once a year, we'll drink his health in baked beans. <laughs> he would have liked that. And don't worry, old son. We won't forget him. Ever. When I'm having these rugger boots. <laughs> I just wish he wasn't Crowfoot. Oh, look, Duncan, you don't want to worry about old Crowfoot. He's not all that bad. In fact, he's quite a smooth operator. Oh. He's not at all nervous when he's on the job. Yeah, he's quite calm in operations, too. No. <laughs> no, we've watched him working in the theatre, haven't we, lads? Yeah, he's steady as a rock, boy. He will be all right, won't he? Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Pardon? Of course, I am so sorry. Oh, damn. I've lost contact lens. I had it in there. It was perfectly all right. I must have fallen out somewhere during the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Clark in fond remembrance. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> it go all right then, did it? Yes, thank you. It's all sewn up now. <clears throat> oh, dear. Should I tell him? No, no, no. I'll do it. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sorry, but it's as we thought, and I'm afraid we really ought to operate. Twice? No, no, no. No, only the once. I, I've talked it over with your wife, and she agrees that you'd, uh, you'd be much better advised to have the operation than put up with that awful trance. <laughs> this, is, this is Mr. Wimberley. Oh, hell. <laughs> this is Mr. Upton. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't recognise you. See, I, <clears throat> I lost a contact lens. You, you operated on him last night. Oh, yes, yes, of course. So I did. Uh, oh, yes, I did. Yes, well... <clears throat> oh, dear. Yes, well, uh, well, Mr. Upton, everything went off extremely well. Oh, good. Uh, but I'm afraid that we may have to, uh, to open you up again. What? Well, you see, I think that I... You know, very silly of me, but, um... Oh! Um, is this what you're looking for? Hmm? Oh, is it? <laughs> there's nothing there. Oh, well, it was here somewhere. I found it on my pyjamas oh, last yeah. night. Yeah, let me have a look. Hmm? <laughs> 
Oh, no, 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 sit still. Sit still. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very, very much indeed. Ah, oh. oh. that's better. Yes. Well, now, all you've got to do is just stay in here and recuperate just uh, six or seven days. A week? Oh, it's not long. You can catch up with your reading. Oh, that reminds me, you're a student, aren't you? You won't mind if we do a spot of teaching on you, will you? Teaching? Yes, the lads on the ward round. Oh, they'll be very gentle with you. A, a nice, sympathetic bunch. Ah, oh, hello. Right, Dr. Crowfoot, where's the guinea pig? Good God. Oh, he looks a bit rough, doesn't he? Oh, no. <laughs> Now, uh, this is a case of acute appendicitis operated on last night. Yes. Uh, where is the appendix? Ah, uh, in a little bottle, sir. <laughs> Very amusing. Where was it? Oh, uh... Ah! Uh... Yes. Now, uh, now, we remember the anatomy of the appendix. Its blood supply is the uh, appendicular artery, which uh, runs into the mesenteric artery. Uh, the... Iliocolic. Oh, yes, sorry, sorry. Iliocolic. Oh, 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 it's gone again. Oh, damn. Oh, I have lost something. Yes, I wouldn't really help. I lost my contact lens again. Oh, oh. 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 oh.